Terminally ill mother of two Sarah Chivers has moved into palliative care she was diagnosed with a brain tumor nine years after she beat brain cancer. Just months later, her 20-month-old son Alfie was diagnosed with brain cancer the inspirational mother penned a heart-wrenching letter to her two sons. She is now fighting to save Alfie's life and spend valuable time with her family a terminally ill mother, who penned a heart-wrenching letter to her two young sons she won't see grope has moved into palliative care. Mother of two Sarah Chivers, from Melbourne, was diagnosed with an incurable brain tumor in March, nine, years after she beat brain cancer. As her condition deteriorates, the 34-year-old mother, whose tumor hasn't shrunk despite undergoing surgery, has been left struggling to walk or talk. Speaking to the New Daily via email, Ms Chivers made a heartbreaking admission, I don't really know how much time I have left. Each day brings new challenges. First, it was just some physical weakness, then it impacted my ability to walk or care for the boys, she said. Now, the most devastating impact is my speech and energy to even think clearly are being taken away from me. And just months after she was told her brain's cancer had returned, her 20-month-old son Alfie was diagnosed with the same disease in September this year. The 34-year-old mother has since moved into the same palliative care center where her youngest son, who can no longer walk or talk, is being treated. Dealing with another blow, the parents were told that for little Alfie to survive, he needed to undergo three months of high dose of chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Mrs Chivers is now doing everything she can to save her son's life and create as many memories with her family as she can before her time runs out. And despite her battle, Mrs Chivers said she has remained positive for her family. It's about trying to get out of bed each day, putting one foot in front of the other so that I can spend time with my boys, she said. She admitted she was terrified about dying but she wanted to raise awareness about the disease in an effort to find a cure for her son Alfie. Her latest interview comes after she penned a heartbreaking letter, supplied to the New Daily, to Alfie, and his older brother Hugh, three, about the kind of woman she is and her hope for their futures. I won't be around to see you grow up. It's a hard thing to say and even harder to face, her letter, begins. I know your dad, and our village of family and friends, will keep me alive for you as much as they can, but there are some things I want you to hear from me. Mrs Chivers goes on to explain that her favorite perfume is Michael Kors, favorite meal is spaghetti, bolognese and favorite season is winter. Don't be afraid of expressing your emotions. I will never tire of hearing I love you from Lee, you boys, my family, friends," she continues. Pay attention to study but know there is so much more to school life than textbooks. Play team sports. Try a musical instrument. Learn a language.
Mrs. Chivers then challenges her boys to love hard, be brave in their convictions and always fall back on their family when the going gets tough. Be kind to your dad. It won't be easy for him raising you alone, but every decision he makes will be with your best interests at heart, she wrote. He is an exceptional father and role model. Don't let him doubt himself or the wonderful job he will do shaping you into the man I dream of you growing up to be. There will come a time when he wants to find happiness again with a new partner. Accept and embrace his choice and know she will be a positive female influence in your lives too. I have absolute faith that he will make the right decision for him and you both, and I hope she enriches your lives as much as you've all enriched mine. Her emotional letter finishes with a few words to her loving husband Lee, reading, He is my companion, my rock, my everything. It was always him. Always will be. Mrs. Chivers has undergone surgery on the largest tumor, which has helped with her mobility and will improve her quality of life as she fights for Alfie. The resilient toddler has had three separate surgeries to remove the fluid from his brain and give him a fighting chance at beating the devastating disease. Survival rates for brain cancer have not improved in the last three decades. Mrs. Chivers' sister Stephanie has set up a fundraising page for those hoping to help with the Chivers family's costly battle against cancer. For those wanting to financially support brain cancer research in Australia, Mrs. Chivers recommends donating to cure brain cancer or carries beanies for cancer. Dear Hugh and Alfie, Love, Mum Source, The New Daily. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion. Share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.